Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube content. I'm Sang Kim. In the previous video, I showed you how to do weighted least scale regression analysis in R. Today, I would like to show you how to do it in Excel. This is quick summary. In the previous video, I showed you one simple linear regression and three different uh, weighted least scale regression analysis. As a result, we, uh, the last one uh, had highest uh, adjusted R square. So, I would like to show you how to get this uh, third method to get this output. I hope if you understand this one, then you can calculate uh, first method and second method by yourself. All right. In this video, I would like to use matrix computation in Excel for regression analysis. So, uh, to uh, to make uh, the process simple, let's give a name, Excel name here. So this one, as a design matrix, so let's give a name as an X. And for column D, let's give a name as Y. B0, as an um, intercept, we can calculate intercept Y from columns D, comma, X from column C and for B1 <clears throat> we can use slope function comma and column C right then we can calculate uh, y minus y hat square Right, then sigma squared can be calculated by sum of column E and over and minus 2. So count total samples and minus number of parameters, which is 2. Okay. Then let's get a standard error. In order to get a standard error, we need to calculate a covariance matrix. So select 2y2 here. And let's use this formula. So emerald transpose x, comma x, and m inverse, and times sigma square. And press Ctrl Shift, Enter. Okay, then standard error for P0 is square root first the cell and for V1 uh, square root of last the cell. Right. In the previous video, I showed you how to do uh, weighted risk scale a regression analysis by uh, method 3. So let's use this formula again. So let's get a uh, fit, fit 3, B0 and B1. So intercept. So, and comma. And H. And for B1. Then we can calculate uh, fit 3. Fit 3 is a uh, fitted value by uh, this uh, regression coefficients. The weighted value is absolute value of 1 over fit the value here. All right. Then, uh, in order to calculate weighted least scale regression analysis, we need to use this formula. So we need to change this weighted variable as a, a matrix format. So let's copy and paste it here. And let's make it as a matrix. So if
if it is a diagonal then let's get weighted value if not let's keep a value as zero Then let's give a name as W. Okay. Right, let's use this formula to uh, calculate B0 and B1. And merge transpose X W. And merge. my x and m inverse and m merge my transpose x again and merge comma w Final one and merge right. Then press Ctrl Shift Enter. Right. Then Y minus Y here by using this one. Okay, then uh, sigma square, we can use this formula. So, some products and weight here and comma and y minus y hat square, this one over count. minus 2 right so this uh, rigid standard error can be calculated by square root of sigma square okay right then uh, let's calculate uh, standard error then we need to also calculate covariance matrix we can use this one. So, uh, and merge transpose x comma w and merge comma x and m inverse. times MSE here then press ctrl shift enter and standard error is first cell of covariance uh, square root and square root of uh, cell from covariance then t value is estimate over standard error then p value as t dot t i s t to t and t value comma and 54 minus 2 because there are 54 samples and two parameters and apply this formula for b1 okay right uh, let's get adjusted r square so um, we can think of this adjust the R square. Uh, so uh, we need to calculate standard uh, sum of square of residual and sum of square of total. But in this case, we need to be aware of uh, using weighted mean. So weighted mean can be calculated by some products of uh, y 
variable and comma and weighted variable weight variable and over sum of weight right then we can calculate we can calculate the y minus y bar square bar weighted uh, Weighted uh, average, weighted mean, squared. All right. And let's get, um, let's change it as MS, and MS total, because we are going to uh, use uh, degrees of freedom. So re uh, MS rigid here is the same as this one, and MS total is uh, some products of uh, weighted weight variable and comma and y minus y bar square and over. Uh, 54 minus 1 right this one so adjust the r square is 1 minus ms residual over ms total so this is uh, same as our output right uh, I hope this video was useful to understand how to do weighted list scale regression analysis in Excel. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.